Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Malakut. I'm an anchor and reporter here in the San Francisco Bay Area. My guest is Debbie Koenig of Danville. She has turned into a medical mask maker. Uh, she's produced over four dozen and got a smile from her out of that. And they're all going to go to the medical staff at Kaiser and Walnut Creek, which is in the East Bay of the Bay Area. Deb, good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? Fine, I'm great, Frank, thanks. Yeah, it is a mask machine over here. <laughs> I guess so, you got one around your neck and a whole bunch in I got, front of you. Yep, I got my favorite one around my neck. And tell us, yep. tell us how it all came about. How did this all get started? So a friend of mine, Dawn, sent a bunch of us some pictures of masks she was making, and one of them was the San Francisco Giants. So I, so I thought, I can do that. So I got, some, I got my cow fabric out and started making about a dozen for family and friends. And that's kind of how it started. That's how it started. But then there was a connection with the hospital in Wallach. That's right. So I kept going. Um, more people wanted them. And I had to find, I think at the beginning, there were as many patterns as there were people making the mask. So I had to find one that worked for me. Contact, got in touch with um, a friend at jo uh, Kaiser in Walnut Creek, a doctor. Mm -hmm. Asked if she'd be interested in some of these masks. She thought they were great because they could cover their medical masks and protect those. So I took a dozen over there and waited for some feedback, like I was telling Ryan, and um, she said the design was great, the, they liked the, the straps as, as opposed to um, elastic, and she would take as many as I could make. All right, well, can you so, model yeah. one? You've got one around your neck. There we go. Yep, it's great, because it just, yep. Uh, does the nose, the whole shebang there, and that's the Cal Berkeley variety, right? That's right. And then it, when you're done, you just drop it down. You don't have to take it off. You just drop it down. Have you got it's any? A, go ahead. It's a good design. Uh, and the design you just got off YouTube, right? Is that right? Off YouTube. Off, yeah. Yep. Off YouTube. Off Some Missouri. quilter in Missouri. Yeah. And um, in terms of the different fabrics you use, is anything off limits? You've got the Cal Bears. I know we talked off camera about UCLA and everything. And yeah, they want cotton. They want cotton fabric, preferably 100% cotton. I think the weave is tighter to keep the germs out. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my neighbor up the street was seeing us making these, and she so she made a bunch, and then she donated the fabric for us to make keep making them, make more. So um, we've got frogs and we've got, you know, more frogs and cats and flowers and circles and kind of, you know, girly ones and guy doctor ones and they can sort of pick and choose what they want. And the cow one's your favorite, right? That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. But, and then I did have some other favorite flower ones, but I, I shipped those off. <laughs> can we expect to see those in the bookstore at, uh, at Berkeley next year? <laughs> can't sell them. I can't sell them. I'm not selling them. I the know farthest you. one was I sent one to Mississippi and then Oregon and Colorado. Oregon and you actually got fabric from those schools? No, I just sent no, I just sent the frogs and some other designs. And some of the other yeah. other designs. So now you're working with a group of uh I, other women, I guess, that are all producing these or um, well, I'm doing them, and then my neighbor did did a a batch of them, and that's pretty much. We're just the only two doing them. Only two. Yeah, we're the only two donating to that. I'm that I'm taking to Kaiser. I have a lot of friends making them. Right. But not. We're not donating those. You know, she's. They're not donating. How long does it take to make one? About thirty minutes. Begin start to finish. Start to finish, and that's with no breaks. You're you're working. Yeah, if you were just, yeah, but I kind of get a little assembly going. I'll do the, I'll do the ties one day and cut out those rectangles and then put them together. Yeah. And they're pretty how, straight. Really? And not, not hard to do? No, no. They're just, they, they're just a little time consuming, but they're, they're very straightforward. And how long will you continue to do this? I think as long as people want them, you know, as long as the doctors, I, this might, the, the doctors might not need any more. I have some in the queue for friends that want more, right. you know, because they'll wear them and then you got to come home and kind of put it in the washing machine. Yeah, well, you can reuse them, which is great. I've got a, yeah. I got a surgical mask, but, you know, after four trips to Trader Joe's and a lot of huffing and puffing, yeah, you almost, you can't really wash it. I've held no. on to it. I know I'm in line to get one of those. I'm kind of excited about it. Your mail today. 
And yeah. whose, whose idea was it to kind of do the collegiate variety, the Cal, the UCLA, and that kind of thing? That, you know, it's funny. I donated a lot of my fabric a couple months ago. So uh, that was really the most fabric I had was a big thing of Cal fabric. Uh-huh. Otherwise, because you can't get Cal fabric now. You can't get elastic in the in the United States, pretty much. That's gone. Can't. Really? Really? So the supplies are low to, to pick the up? The supplies are really low. Yeah, so we were kind of at the mercy of what we had. I had the cow fabric. My neighbor had all these other fabulous fabrics. So, you know, started putting them together. And I know a lot of the doctors and the medical staff are going to get them this weekend, but uh, have they seen, you said that they have seen them and they love them. The reaction's been very Yeah, the first right? batch, the first batch they, they've, um, the doctor gave to her colleagues and they like that they expand and that they're wide enough to cover those their medical masks, you know. And, the, do they, and, and do they love the design, the fact that they're colorful? I, I mean, years well, ago, colorful. they were they were all in white, and now you walk into a hospital and they've got every every flavor there. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got frogs now. But, you yeah. know, so you can do one, you know, the, there's these frogs on one side, and then the other side is a different set of frogs. So you can kind of know what side you had on the outside and what side you had against your face so you don't flip it around. And you're providing the fabric yourself, right? This is my it's... neighbor's donating it. Yeah, my neighbor donated the fabric. And uh, is any fabric off limits, or is it uh, whatever you I get? Think, I think they just want you to use your cotton fabric. What you might make a quilt out of. Right. How yeah. about how about you doing something for the greater good? It's got to be cathartic uh, to know that these will be worn by uh, people that are out there on the front lines uh, helping out. It, it's amazing. Um, when I asked the, doc, the doctor about making these, she said it brought tears to her eyes. She thought we were the superheroes. And, wow. um, and, I, and, it, and it's, it's very humbling, you know, because they don't have time to, to do this. And just to know that these frogs or these flowers or these circles or these fish or foxes can, you know, give them some little bit of barrier there, a little more barrier to their germ. Yeah, and it might bring a smile to some of the patients too because they're so colorful. I think so, yeah. And yeah, well, like you said, I don't know if you'd be wanting to be wearing a cow mask over a Stanford patient, but. <laughs> I think that would be <laughs> apropos, actually. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. Or, yeah. Or vice versa. Now, have you gone out in public with these yourself? Yeah, I actually wore this over the weekend really quickly in and out of a store, and people said, hey, I like your mask. Yeah, oh, so. Oh, that, oh, that's great. So you got a, a couple yeah. of Go Bears anyways? Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty fun. And and how about you personally? Have you, I know your husband, Paul, have you guys been quarantined? Do you get out much or have you been? We're taking it, no, we're taking it really seriously. Um, I think I went to the grocery store once every two weeks, try to stock up and then just make do with what we have here. We're good. I know you've got a mountain of grandkids too, so they're they're off haven't limits. Seen, haven't seen them, been zooming with them, or I I did um, play Yahtzee with one of them on on Zoom. Oh no way! You can do that, huh? Yeah, I played Yahtzee. Yeah, there's some things you can't do, but yeah, Yahtzee we could do. That was um, fun. And uh, so for the foreseeable future, you're uh, you're going to be making masks. Probably for another week, I'll I'll make as long as the fabric holds out. You know, as long as mm -hmm. I have fabric, I can you know. I can make them. Hold a few up, Deb, if you can. Show us some of the, the other there's, designs. Um, so here's the circle one, but then it has just stripes on the back, so you oh, know what. Nice. Same with this one. Personal favorite, the frogs. Frogs. Um, and then these are a little bit different design. They're fish. Then they have a really soft, um, a soft flannel on the other side, so against their face, it's really soft. These are the ones my neighbor made. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Cal one, and I'll make a, a UCLA, a, some more Cal in UCLA this week. And the doctors actually wear those over their regular mask. They're right? wearing them over those N95 or those medical, like the, probably the one you wore to Trader Joe's, just and, those. Right. And does that just give them yeah. a, an extra layer of support? Does that yeah. uh, allow they them to reuse it or the mask? Yeah, they underneath? pop open and then they. Yeah, they probably don't have to throw them away. I don't even know what you do with an N95 mask, but it, it probably just, it fits over it to protect it a little more. Yeah. Um, well, there's yeah. A, a lot of people out there, you're going to bring smiles to their faces. That's got to feel good. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, I, I, I sort of, I think this, yeah, it sort of breaks the, the tension a little bit, I think. Very good. And it's, you know, it keeps me busy. I don't, you know, there's not a whole lot. I guess you've, you've made what, four dozen so far? 48? Four dozen, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so you've been hard at work for a good week plus, probably, right? Yeah. And it keeps, you know, it keeps my mind off, you know, what am I going to do next? And it's very creative. You know, you can find, you know, she, Jill has donated so much fabric to a, to me that, you know, I can think of fabrics that go together so you can kind of combine them and, you know, it's, it's pretty creative. Very nice. All right. Well, Deb Koenig in Danville, California, right outside the Bay Area. Hats off to you. Mass off to you. I know the doctors in uh, <laughs> Wanna Creek are going to be very happy to receive those. Thanks, Frank. They will, yeah. Uh, all the best. She's Deb Koenig. I'm Frank Malicote here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Let's send it back to you.